You're like a hippie alien. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking at Ravens. So today, we're gonna to talk about cooking with cauliflower, eggplant, zucchini, tomatoes, and a whole bunch of spices. This is um, a whole food dish based on our hemp seed ricotta, which is in another video, which we will link to here. Prep this ahead of time so that the sulfophane will be produced by the chemicals within the, within, within the cauliflower. Cook it 40 minutes after you've cut it. It makes it a powerful anti-cancer drug that's contained naturally within here. We're going to start with cauliflower slabs. It's pretty simple. You cut off a little bit of this bottom part so you can work with a flat surface. Turn the cauliflower on its side and begin cutting. You can decide how many cuts you can make from here. It looks like one and two. So they have to be thick enough so that they'll remain intact, hopefully. So you go with the knife, kind of in a back and forth motion, and then straight down. And there's your first one. So the back part of the cauliflower can remain on, and whoever gets this piece can eat around it. But this is important to keep the, this part of the cauliflower intact. Starting with our cauliflower slab, we're gonna add additionally roasted zucchini, roasted tomato, and roasted eggplant. In between each layer is going to be the hemp ricotta. We did a light spray of high heat oil onto our tray, and now we're going to place the cauliflower onto the tray. Then you're gonna give it another light spray or a little bit of olive oil with your fingers and spread that oil around just a very little bit of oil here. And then dust with about a half a teaspoon of salt for both. So that's about a quarter teaspoon and then a quarter teaspoon on the other one. Additionally, you could add herbs or pepper. We're gonna add a little pepper. We're roasting all these veggies at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and put the cauliflower in first. Now on to our other veggies. We're gonna slice eggplant in about a quarter to a half an inch rounds. Here's a little trick with eggplant. If you find that it's too tough and chewy, sprinkle with a little bit of salt on both sides. This will draw the water out. Wait about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you wanna rinse it because it's gonna be too much salt to handle in a dish, but you can rinse it off and then go ahead and bake it after that. A light spray of mist oil, and then going right in the oven. Next, we're moving on to the zucchini and tomato. We're doing these two last because they take the least amount of time in the oven. About half the amount of time is cauliflower. Slice in about a quarter inch biased rounds, and the cutting on a bias means just at an angle. For the tomato, cut again about a quarter inch rounds. Get creative here and add your favorite herb like chives or thyme. It can be dry or fresh and sprinkle it right on top before it goes in the oven. For the tomatoes and zucchinis, we did chives, thyme, salt, and pepper. Going right in the oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about five to eight minutes. So I decided that our dish needed a little more color. So I prepared some red onions in the same manner as we did the other veggies. We're gonna stick together the components of this Napoleon, which by the way is a wonderful dish, with hemp seed ricotta. Put this down, there we go. She's now gonna, I'm gonna add go egg on with an eggplant, and then a little bit more. And the way that you build it is up to you. You can, you can put the vegetables in any layer you want and feel free to duplicate. So let's go one. Uh, one more onion or yeah. one more tomato? One onion and okay, tomato on top of it. Okay. You can use a variety of other layers like of spinach. You could use broccoli and roast that as well. Whatever you do, it really doesn't matter. This is like a whole food, beautiful, absolutely a stunning dish and it's healthy. So if you find that your Napoleon is sliding, go ahead and stick a long toothpick or wooden skewer in there and that'll help hold it together. Um, you can keep these in the fridge for a few days and right before you wanna eat it, put it in the oven at 350 degrees and just warm it up thoroughly. Um, about can, 10 to 12 minutes. About 10 to 12 minutes, yes. yeah. So what we've done is put a bed of um, arugula. 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 Well, I forgot that word, so thank you. A baby arugula, and then we uh, garnish the plate with a little bit of balsamic reduction, which you can find in another one of our videos. So I've reheated the cauliflower stack. Now I'm going to remove the 
skewer. Thank you. Not a dowel. <laughs> and it's ready to eat. We have our tasters today, Scott Duncan and Zen. Ready with your fork? Here you go. That's like so good. Mm. Like the balsamic. Yeah, it's, yes. a good, it's a good compliment to have a little sour mm -hmm. with the creamy. Well, and it's so appropriate being in Mendocino County and having hemp ricotta. Thank you for joining us. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Bye! Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog?